welcome back everybody going into hour number two of role play masks one shower going into our second our second arc with our uh, our, our dangerous superior heroes so as we uh, as we as we do uh, uh, here with with masks, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna paint you a picture. So this is uh, this is the cover of this the second arc, right? If you buy the you buy the trade paperback, it's a it's a collection of a few issues, and on the uh, on the cover of the 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 trade is uh, the bridge. It's Halcyon City Bridge. It's uh, like a memorial bridge, kind of like the the Golden Gate. It's a big, huge bridge, and there's a, a terrible looking like green storm clouds, kind of like swirling around it. There's cars that are like crashed into the sides of the bridge. Uh, there are these strange kind of like bird like creatures, uh, like all over the bridge, and people are running scared. And in the center of all this chaos, uh, we see the the four characters like back to back, you know, against like all all kind of all odds. And so that's the that's the cover. And uh, and on it it says you know role play masks, um, my brother's keeper, uh, and then on the the next page after we get all the like artist credits and everything, um, the the first page is sort of the the cover of if you buy these issues individually this would be the cover of issue one, and on the cover of issue one uh, we see a, a, a cop we see a police officer one of uh, one of uh, Halcyon City's finest, uh, and he's got both hands on his gun and he's pointing the gun forward and he's looking like. Uh, he's got this kind of blank look on his face, um, and his eyes are kind of like glowing. And we see he's pointing a gun at uh, at Riley, and uh, Riley's like got her hands up, but her teeth are like gritted. Um, and it says, uh, "My brother's keeper, uh, part one." And then when we open the uh, when we open the issue, uh, we get a a two page uh, like a two page spread of um, what looks like. Um, like it's obviously like a, a screen grab from like Snapchat or something, um, and it has uh, it's a picture of uh, Riley um, and and Riley you're you're like obviously you're doing something that obviously shows off your like superpowers uh, like you're lifting something heavy or like breaking something what what are you what are you doing in this in this picture this this Snapchat breaking someone's nose uh, <laughs> I mean regular people can do that yeah. Um, <laughs> I coun't do that. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Lifting like a like a steel beam, maybe. Mm. Am I supposed to be like in a like heroic a girder? Yeah, like okay. lifting it off of a car or something. Okay, yeah. So you're you're holding this girder over your head, and yeah, maybe that was the case, right? Maybe you were lifting it off of a car, but we can't see the car in the shot, and you look kind of like you're lit from from behind, and you look like a little scary, like you're like like holding this girder up, and then behind you, uh, we can see uh, we can see Petra. And Petra's like in God mode, right? Like you're like floating and like your hair is all kind of like in the air. And from this angle, both of you and the filter they use is like kind of ominous and like high contrast. And it's got a little like stamp at the bottom that's like Halcyon City. And they put little like skull stickers all over the shot. Um, so the, the two of you, it paints both of you in a, a fairly like frightening light. And that's the, that's the opening panel. Um, and we see that. And then on the next page, uh, we see a... Uh, uh, a woman she's in her like 20s like obviously like an adult but like a young adult and we see her she's looking straight into the kind of camera of the panel and um we see her in a room so behind her there's uh, there's some shelves and the shelves have um like some old cameras on them like a polaroid and, and a couple of other cameras they maybe got like um some uh models of like buildings in halcyon city and it's obviously like someone's room and there's a bit of like a mic kind of poking up from the bottom of the of the shot, and uh, and she's saying like right to the camera, she uh, she's like, uh, we're catching in on the middle of the sentence. She's saying like, just another example of these these super powered teenagers causing trouble, and you can see her little bubble, and it moves over to the next one, and in basically the rest of this page is shots of her face, and she's talking right at the at the camera, and she's saying, um, so like this is why these superhero um, management bills really just need to be pushed through. And I'm asking you, audience, you need to go out there and you need to vote on November 8th. Vote for superhero protection. We're regular people and we deserve it. I interviewed, and there's another panel, and it, and it switches, so the, the thing that we're watching switches over to the same woman, and she's got a, a mic. And actually, I think she's got one of those like podcast recording mics. It's not like a proper mic. Like, she doesn't work for the news. She's got like a t-shirt and, and jeans on. And she's standing with... Um, uh, she's sitting with a, a girl, probably about Hemlock's age, um, dark skin. Uh, she has her hair uh, done up in like a, uh, two of those like pom pom like kind of braids, and she's wearing like a kind of gold jumpsuit uh, with um, like a crimson cape, crimson half cape. Um, 
And she's like, I interviewed Kid Sovereign about this very issue. And then the next few panels are basically this the superhero Kid Sovereign being like, listen, we were given these powers by all sorts of, uh, all sorts of reasons. Um, some of us, um, you know, miraculous science. Others, we were just born this way. And I think that if we're real and honest about this, we should use these powers the same way that a police officer uses their, uh, their tools or uh, a construction worker uses theirs. Then we should be doing this out in the open. And that's why uh, Kid Sovereign is for the uh, registration. And she's like looking right at the camera. She's like for the Superhero Management Act. And uh, in the background of this shot, uh, we see a crowd of people and they're all gathered around uh, a, a familiar, if blurry, because he's in the background, a uh, familiar shape. Uh, and we can see the, the like obvious like hovering form of, of Scion, uh, Halcyon City's favorite superhero off in the, uh, in the background. Ooh. Yeah, and then it cuts back, and maybe Wait. that's what it cuts to. It cuts to the room where the four of you are, and uh, you're all watching this on uh, Hemlock. Is it like, are you watching, are you huddled around your phone watching this, this like, you know, a us tube video? Or yeah. is it like, do you have a laptop? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you know, you know that's what it is. Like in the little in the corner, there's a little red square with like a a, a, a U and an S like in it. And like, the repeat button. It's the repeat button. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Same shit over and over. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. So We're you're, like, so you're we're all like around watching it on a phone. Yeah. So we cut to we yeah the next panel is one of those like wide panels of everybody in the room and <laughs> Riley your little speech was like boo boo. <laughs> Uh, but he's, he, he is a fan of at least me, right? Wasn't that the, the last time that we interacted with him? He yeah, like, I don't know. Like, oh, good for you. But like he was uh, drawn towards me at some, because we have now this like kind of reputation of like him kind of embracing me. And Petra was like, yeah, like go into it and go do this. And I was like, no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was acting a little funny towards you. He's, yeah. he's kind of a pretentious goof. But um. Yeah, so this 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 woman like uh, she's a uh, she's a really popular Halcyon City um, like uh, citizen reporter or whatever. She's famous on UsTube for being like someone who like gets the scoop on on superheroes, and she's always interviewing them. And she's kind of like she has no superpowers on her own, but she knows a bunch of superheroes and stuff. And oh, she's a groupie. I mean, kind of, yeah. Uh, and she, <laughs> I mean, she's never interviewed any of you, but. You know, somebody told you, like, maybe Lex, maybe, like, somebody told you, like, yeah, like, your friends are going to be on this, on this show, on, on Melissa Singh's, like, you know, Supers Watch show. And so you all got together <laughs> to watch it, and it was not, uh, not flattering. Um, so what I'm, uh, what I'm, I'm putting out here, though, is that uh, Riley and, and Petra, um, this, this blogger, this, this Melissa Singh, she's saying the two of you are, like, you're dangerous. You're, you're uncontrolled, like, you're, you're, you need to, like, Rain in your shit. Um, do you want to? Uh, do you want to try to try to resist that uh, that change? Absolutely. Your, your labels. Yeah. You want to. You want to still see yourself the way you are. Can okay. I? Can I get something clarified really quickly? Yeah. So, absolutely. the thing is, she the same woman that's trying to get people to vote for like superhero protection? Is that for our protection or like it's, the it's citizens? I don't know, Lex. How how politically plugged into this whole like movement are you? Is Good this a, question. Is this, thing, is this a thing you've been paying attention to? You know, usually when I'm like rousing the forums, I'll start to read the important news. You know, I'll like start to read the politics and whatnot of Hallison City, Halicon City. Uh, but then I kind of just like tap back out to an IRC channel, you know? <laughs> yeah, cute. totally. She okay. Gets, she gets distracted it's, by the dank memes. She can't pay attention to politics. It's exactly. something I would know about because my mom would be like at home reading pamphlets and showing me like you you need to like yeah. tell your fellow teenagers that they need to like fellow kids, fellow fellow youth. Like you need to like she. I can see my mom at home with the pamphlets being she, like. Oh, your mom's yeah. all about. She's your kid. all There's, about. She's yeah. it's on the TV all the if time. You had, yeah. If you had a lawn, there'd be a little like vinyl yeah. sign sticking. It's in the so window. It's, it's in the on window. Her jacket on her lapel. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's, there's, there's like there's like a sign in our in our windows that basically say like like stop stop heroes. Heroes or zeros, like there's like all this property <laughs> stuff, like in our apartment because she's. So why don't so, why don't we have? Wait, any, wait, wait I'll be really left. clear though. I do have a bunch of really cool political stickers on my laptop. My laptop cover though, like mm -hmm. a bunch of them. But yeah, I don't know anything. Do you have about. a sticker? Do you have like a sticker that's like in the shape of an acoustic guitar that says "This machine kills supervillains"? 
<laughs> sure. Why don't you roll sure. a picture, picture of Che Guevara in the corner? Why don't you roll well, uh, roll to roll to, assess, roll to assess the situation, right? Like you you would have tried to stay on top of this as it as it formed, as the the whisperings of like Supergate started like forming on social media. Uh, go ahead Walker and me. Uh, you, Lex. Why don't you why okay. don't you assess the situation? Let me go we'll back do that to before we before we try to resist the labeling. Got all right, all right. I like that so, cops, not capes. What do I want to roll for it? Cops, not capes. I like it. <laughs> it's, uh, su- it's superior. Okay. Oh, so I might be really good at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, weak pass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, despite being really good at it, uh, you got a uh, you got a seven. Um, now on a seven to nine, you can ask one from the list of uh, uh, of, of items for assess the situation. Uh, oh, okay. Do we have those ones in roll twenty? Yeah, they're in the handouts. Um, and it's this one is basic news reference. Basic news. Okay. So let me just zoom in. Assess situation. Okay. So. I don't think there's anything I can really use here. Yeah, and this is just about like this this like movement overall. Yeah. How could we best end this quickly? <laughs> mm. Well, um I mean, and this is maybe this has been there's there's this there's this reaction to uh, like I, I imagine you belong to several like invite only IRC superhero channels where you have to like verify that you're actually a superhero. So in some of these, there has been this worried conversation going on about like, you know, well, the government wants to know we're superheroes. What about our secret identity? Like I have to protect my family, you know, the usual business. But there are, there is a sub, there's like a subcurrent of, uh, of people who, uh, who are like, look, we should just, we're superheroes. We can't let these normies boss us around. We should just go out and like take out the people who are putting this bill forward. And like, we should just, we should just get rid of everybody who disagrees with us. And superheroes should rule. This is kind of like, um, uh, you know, superheroes, Uber Alice thing that's kind of like forming. And that, I mean, that would solve the problem, turning the world into a superhero led dictatorship. That would be the fastest route to fixing this. But I think you're, you're savvy enough to know that there's no easy resolution, right? There's no just like, one thing you could do to to quickly end the uh, when i say someone say to take them out um in chat i type lol take them out what and do they clarify <laughs> <laughs> right yeah and i mean some of them are like you know teach them a lesson there's a lot of like angry like unwillingness in case the nsa reads their messages unwillingness to be like we should just assassinate them there's like yeah these people need to be taught a lesson or put in their place or whatever um, okay. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. I imagine Lex probably isn't so much down for that. Well, I take some screenshots of that, you know, even though they're fellow superheroes, I am kind of about the manipulation. So I just like file those away. Yeah. And I yeah. backtrace them too, so I know who they are. <laughs> right. Okay. Um like I guess that's that's a good question. Did you did you try to find out like the identity of any of these these posters? Well, I'm always trying to find dirt on Scion. So I am inadvertently looking up everyone's identity. I don't always really care about who they are, but I'm really just trying to find like Scion's secret shit posting IRC account, you know? So are you doing are you doing this stuff like in the in the scene we see like the panel with everybody, um, you know, Hemlock, you've got your you've got your phone out. Uh, obviously Riley and uh, Riley, you were watching. Um, Petra, what are you are you like paying close attention to the broadcast or are you like not engaged totally but like she's already getting like super agitated and like little bits of of, uh, objects in the room are just starting to slowly lift up (laughs) right okay and it's like just a couple inches just a couple inches just so you know there's like tension there yeah Yeah, like jewelry starts lifting up (laughs) lex so lex are you are you watching too or are you like on your laptop just like in the room I'm one of those people where, like, I'm never really paying attention to anything but my laptop. Like, you meet talking to me, I'll be like, yep, yeah, yep, totally. okay, I'll get on that. And they'll be like, okay, what did I just say? And I'll be like, uh... <laughs> so obviously, I, I mean, obviously, you would never, you'd never watch uh, us tube through its normal player. Like, you've got a special VLC sub plugin that you use to watch video. Exactly. Sub plugin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're you're like on your computer doing this in like another another window. Okay. If anything, I have like their camera feeds. Like I have like multiple camera feeds open on my laptop. Right. Yeah, cuz you you can you have these little gadgets so you can always see like what's going on at home and like in various places. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh okay, cool. Well, let's let's see. So so Riley and Petra, you were specifically targeted by this uh this this videographer this person as being like a reason why 
superheroes need to like come come forward and like vigilantes are bad and like you know they're, 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 she's calling you out specifically and using you as an example um so when someone with influence over you which is to say in this case an adult who has an audience uh says who you are and how the world works uh you can accept what they say or reject their influence uh, if you accept what they say um, i'll tell you how to adjust your labels um if you want to keep your labels how they are you have to reject their influence um, in which case you have to roll. So um, I reject. I reject what she's saying. Yeah, that you're oh, yeah. you're rejecting that she's saying that you're you're unstable. Yeah, she and can dangerous. go fly a kite. Yeah, <laughs> like Petra is sitting there, and like no one's listening to Petra. Everybody's trying to hear the 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 the, the blog blogger talk or whatever. But Petra's just already on a soapbox, just spouting off. <laughs> um, maybe no one's listening. Doesn't really matter. But right. it's just just like I'm sorry. If you are a blogger, you don't have a journalism degree. Where's your Where's your journalist license? You can't just go around telling everybody that they should have a license to be what they are. I don't demand that you should have like you know a master's in being a blogger. God, so, listen, yeah. she's a she's a hashtag, she's a hashtag digital influencer. So. <laughs> yeah. Don't even, don't even. She's got several sponsorships. Um, all right, uh, go ahead and. Go ahead and roll to reject influence. So what you're going to do is uh, you just roll roll 2d6. There's no, there's no modifiers for this one. Okay, there, should right, be a, right. there should be a macro on your sheet. Uh, Under labels, yeah. Roll that, yeah. And we'll see how well, you, uh, how well you reject your dangerous inflow. No, you miss. All right. So mm -hmm. on the outside, on the outside, oh, you're okay. like, yeah, you're very like aggressive. You got a four. You're like, no, this is, this is terrible. You're wrong. This is like false. I'm not dangerous. You're dangerous. Yeah. Um, on a miss, their words hit you hard. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you to mark a condition and uh, adjust your labels. So, what, what condition do you want to mark here, Petra? Uh, does this make you um, afraid, angry, guilty, insecure, or hopeless? Ooh, it could really be. Right, any of those most things. Of those. <laughs> how does Petra? How does Petra actually feel about this? Oh, I, you know, I think at first she feels insulted. So I think she's going to feel angry first and then it's going to like transition more into like the insecurity and the guilt afterwards. Like, I guess you use that footage in a way that made me look bad, but I was just trying to do good. So I feel guilty, you know, but like, yeah, the first thing is definitely going to be anger, I think. Okay. So do you want to mark angry or guilty? Um, oh, anger. You're angry. Okay. Yep. So so what angry means is that you're at minus two to comfort or support someone and you're at minus two to pierce the mask. So you're, you're clouded by your own anger. You don't care about other people's feelings as much. Uh, minus two is a pretty big penalty uh, and you're going to stay that way until you hurt someone or break something important. So and which one of those you. is more likely to happen? Or both if we know her. Yeah. Or both. <laughs> All right. So uh, Riley, uh, yeah. Same thing. You're being told. Uh, you're being told about who you are and how things is. Um, do you do you accept that? Are you like hell yeah? No. I'm dangerous. You better hell watch no. it. No. Fuck the police coming straight from the underground. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. All right. So same same thing. You're gonna reject. You're gonna reject the influence. Of, okay. Do I have to hit this check mark next to the number in order um, to roll this? What's the check box do? Let's see. Oh, I think that just locks it in. Yeah, because yeah, then yeah, the yeah. arrows go away. Okay, cool. So I don't have yeah. to do that. I just hit the danger thing. Yeah, where it says, uh, yeah, flat 2d6. You can just click Situational that. bonus? No? Yeah, don't have any, don't have any bonus here. Hey! Oh, thank All goodness. Right. At least one of us got it. <laughs> so, <laughs> Riley. The sky, Riley. Um, the, the, well, the, the thing is, Riley, you're not, you're actually not rolling your danger. Um, you're rolling, you're what? rolling the, um, yeah, you're rolling the bottom one, 2d6. This, this eight would not have been eight. I'll let you re-roll. God damn it. I got so I excited. I know. Uh, okay, if, you're, if you're being dangerous, sure. No, this is the, uh, the flat. Son of a... Flat All right. <laughs> Roll something. God damn it. All right. So Riley, again, same thing. Like the, it hits, it hits you. Uh, you got to mark a condition and I'm going to adjust your labels. Oh, Petra, I have to, I have to adjust your labels. Um, Petra, wow. I. Now uh, I'm angry at you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm going to, Petra, I'm going to reduce your superior, uh, by, by one. And I'm going to increase your freak by one. All right. I'll That's your weakness, that Riley. You're weak to words. So, uh, yeah. So you start to see yourself as like, maybe I'm not like a as much a human as like, they wouldn't be doing this to someone who like was normal. Um, and it's, it's, I think it's putting you in your place. You're feeling a I'm little less normal. superior, um, but like a little, a little more like an outsider. Uh, and then Riley, um, how does this, how does this affect you? 
I mean, we know you're angry on the outside. I'm angry. You're angry on the inside too. <laughs> All right. So this is very this is very dangerous for uh, Hemlock and Lex and like I don't know everyone else who lives in this apartment building because now your uh, your your Nova and your Bull are both angry and they need in to, my mom's house no less yeah they need to yeah, hurt yeah. someone they need to hurt someone or um, yeah or uh, or damage so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna raise uh, I'm gonna raise your freak too uh, Riley okay. Uh, What's your freak at now if it's being raised, Riley? It was at one. Now it's a two. Now it's a two. Yep. And uh, I'm gonna reduce your. Uh, I'll reduce your superior uh, as well. Okay. So you're so, not. You're not like paragons of of glorious superherodom. You're just freaks. You're just weirdos, and you need to be put in weirdo camp with all the other weirdos. Do so that weirdos. mark potential for missing that? Or yes. Yeah. Every time you. Every time you fail. Yeah. Uh, both of you should mark uh, mark potential. I was, so I think I was like on the bed or, okay, so where are we all actually? We're all in your Hem- mom's Hem- Hemlock, Hemlock, describe, describe the room that they're in. What does Hemlock's room look like? Um, so the last time we, we were here, we described, I'll refresh everyone. So it's kind of a big, it's a big bedroom. Um, it's got, you know, we're in the penthouse. So it's got those big, huge kind of floor to ceiling, like 18 foot windows. Like you have to think that like an old kind of brick stone penthouse that you would see like in any, you know, big urban city. Um, there's like a big bed kind of right in front of the windows and then there's a, a big desk unit and then there's like a, a walk, a huge walk-in closet that could be like its own room. Um, so it's a really big bedroom. The, the bed is kind of up like on a step, you have to step over and then there's two doors that walk out to a balcony. So there's like these French doors that you can walk out. It's just a really big, tall, lots of space, but not really it's very teenager, you know, like just open up any, any like pottery barn teens kid catalog. It's like <laughs> my mom had way too much money and wants me to fit into this mold. And I'm just like, I don't, can't be messed with it. Yeah. Okay. So I'm on the bed then and I'm like kind of sprawled out and I have the laptop like all the way up to my chin or something. You know, it's like on my chest and like laying down. And so I was kind of like zoned out, but I still saw what was going on. And, you know, I see them getting mad, but Maybe they couldn't actually tell us paying attention. So I just start saying things like, hey, Riley, do you hear what they're saying? <laughs> what do you think we've been doing in the past 10 minutes while you've been over there shitposting, Lex? <laughs> Can you, oh, could I get a, a TLDR just to get like caught up? Uh, basically, they're trying to tell us what we're allowed to do and what we're not allowed to do through some bill. They want to put us on a register like we're criminals. We're not criminals. We're the chosen ones. Like they should be thanking us for what we did. Yeah, but okay, so two seconds, Petra. Can you, there's shit floating. Can you like A, tone it down? <laughs> uh, right. And B, and B, I know you guys are, are really pissed, um, but we have to fix, like, we have to figure this out. Like, obviously this isn't going to happen. I think I have an idea, but I don't think you guys are going to like it. So well, I'm not going on a register if that's your idea. So, so I want to, I want to ask real quick, cause it sounded to me a bit like Lex was trying to provoke Riley. <laughs> was there something specific you want Riley to do in this situation? No, not right now. I'm not actually, well, I was trying to provoke Riley and Petra, yeah, but just. You can, you can, prov- you could try to provoke Riley to flip out and break something. No, uh, I don't that want. That would be funny for you. I don't want so. Hemlock's beautiful, overpriced pottery barn bed frame. It sounds like kind of you, to be honest. <laughs> like, that is a little bit of like resentment. This is how this yeah. better not be how my you know, mom finds out. If y'all break my shit, and this is how my mom finds out I'm a superhero, I'm gonna be really. I kind, mad. Of, I kind of feel like it's. You know what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna. We're gonna make the roll. I think it's gonna happen. <laughs> you know, I'm you're too, describing your character oh, provoking Riley, damn. so. So when you provoke someone susceptible to your words, say what you're trying to get them to do and role plus superior. Um, now, do you have influence over Riley, Lex? No, I think Riley's the only person I don't have influence over. <laughs> All right, so uh, role plus, uh, plus your superior, and then Riley will get to make some choices depending on how you Look, do. I don't, I'm innocent. I'm just trying no, to get my laptop back. My laptop's like floating in the air. I'm just like typing on it while it's you floating. Unintentionally, <laughs> you unintentionally like provoked me. And Hemlock was trying to also influence us, but like that was afterwards as well. So. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. She's trying to get us to tone it down. Mm-hmm. 
a man. And it was kind of going in two directions, okay. right? So, okay. All right, Lex. So you got a you got a seven to nine. Um, so you uh, you have two, you have two choices here, uh, Riley. Um, you can do it. You can flip out and break something, uh, which would cause levels for Lex. Uh, if you do, uh, we add a, a team point to the pool. Now you start with one, but more team points are better because you get to use them to, to help each other. Uh, you have one now, you could add another one if you flip out and break something. It also might help clear your anger. So that might be a nice excuse. You can blame it on Lex for pissing you off. Or if you don't do it, you got to mark another condition. Could I, um, could I be trying to influence her to do something else that's not breaking stuff? Uh, do you want it to be, here's the thing, do you want it to be the carrot or the stick here, uh, Lex? Is it, are you going to, if if they do it, add the team to the pool, or if they don't do it, you put another condition on them? Which which one do you you pick? Because it's a seven and nine, it's not both. Um, What's the so difference? Picks, I don't pick? Yeah, she picks. And then oh, you have okay. to decide if you want to do it. So the carrot so is, break the, carrot is yeah. the carrot is do it, um, like get angry and break something. Um uh, and and you'll you'll add a team to the pool. The stick is if you don't get angry, you're going to mark a condition, uh, and Lex would get to pick. Um, but can I have her do something other than break something? Uh, no. Yeah, I mean, you you want to provoke her into showing the, showing her anger. Um, <laughs> okay. I think we can let her decide how she expresses that she's really pissed off in a serious way. Okay, I'll be the carrot. You want to do the carrot? Okay. Yeah. So, and as a player, uh, you got to decide. Do the thing and get the added team point to the pool, or don't do the thing uh, and uh, and just ignore ignore Lex. So you, you have that choice. Plus, if you do it, yeah, like you could use it to get rid of your anger. Wait, I thought she decided whether or not I do. No, something. she she's giving you the carrot. She's saying like, if okay. you do it, we'll get we'll all get a team point. Okay, yeah. Uh, she's so, provoking I mean, you, right? And she's just like right. goading you. And when you're angry, you're useful. Yeah, I mean, I can't think of a different way that. Uh, that Riley would express her anger other than through physical exertion of something. So, um, yeah, that's let's true. Say, like, uh, there, I was like holding a cup of water. I was like drinking it and it started like floating away from me because Petra's like doing whatever. So I'm like getting mad. I'm like trying to grab it and like trying to tell Lex like what's going on. And she's like asking me all these questions. I'm like trying to grab my cup. So I get really mad. And then I finally like grab it and I just like fling it at the wall when I'm like, talking to her and I just like throw it and it like smashes on the wall and like so so it has to uh it has to damage something important for you to get rid of your uh your angry um I throw it at a window is a window hemlock open? why don't why don't we let hemlock decide so what is what is uh what important thing in your room gets broken because Riley throws a glass at it I wrap my arms around my laptop <laughs> I mean I, I think that anything to me in this situation anything in the room is important because I have to explain what happened regardless so no matter what she breaks, I have a, I have to, my mom has to find out, I have to get it fixed, right? Or I have to try to get Clyde to help me fix it without my mom knowing. Like either way, it's an inconvenience to me. So it's all important no matter what What if like the glass itself was like your mom's favorite glass or something? So I think a window window is pretty good. Okay. What if the glass, what if the glass was actually an urn and you had just like, Clean it well, off. I hope she was drinking <laughs> out of an urn. Yeah, it's not <laughs> <bullshit>. <laughs> <laughs> a funereal urn. No, you know what it is? It, the thing is, it's a, it's a mug. And Riley, you just grabbed it out of the back of the, the cupboard. Because I don't know, right. maybe the dishwasher was full. And, you know, you had to blow the dust off it because it hasn't been used for a while. But we see a panel. Like, we see you, like, gritting your teeth and throwing it against the wall. And we see a panel. What were you drinking? What was in the mug? Whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I mean, if anybody. Wow. So there's, you know, there's a, a the, the splash of it as it breaks against the wall, but this, this old mug that no one in this house has used for a while, but no one ever got around to throwing out, it says number one dad on it. And then it's pieces <laughs> all over the floor. Oh no. No. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That'd be painful. God damn it, Riley. So, so you can, you can, <laughs> so at the end of this, know. at the end of the scene, you can mark off your, your anger. It'll fade. Uh, but yeah. Okay. So Hemlock, what do you, what do you do? Like, uh, uh, Riley just like hurls this this mug against the wall. There's a big stain on the wall now, and like chunks and missing out of it because you know all you, the little you, mug you, parts are now floating in the air. <laughs> yeah. So because this isn't like a thing I've really talked about with the group yet, they don't know the backstory behind it. I right now is probably not the time that I'm gonna divulge them and like this is really important and meaningful to me because it was my dad's and whatever. So I think the way that 
the best way to get under Riley's skin, especially because we're close, is to just not respond to her at all and just cold shoulder the whole situation. Like, I kind of just, like, walk over, get the stuff, like, pick it up, and then just, like, put it in a pile on my desk and then just, like, turn around to both them. Don't acknowledge that it happens. I'm not even, at this point, like, looking at Riley. Like, I just, she doesn't exist to me right now because I'm really... Like, I'm trying to, like, help you, like, pick up the pieces and I'm like, oh, shit, like, I'm like, I'm so sorry. I, like, no. didn't, you know, and, and I'm you're not just, like, even not responding, but no. I'm just like, I just messed up so bad and like yeah but it kind of confused too because you have no idea like why I'm so pissed about a mug right like it's yeah you know whatever so um yeah I just kind of ignore her and then turn to them and I'm like this this is not gonna help us like smashing shit and floating things in the air and making each other mad is not going to help us we need to figure out what we're gonna do because we can't we can't let this reputation be what we're known for. We can't walk outside now with everybody thinking that you're dangerous. We won't get, you know, 10 feet down the street. Petra obviously is not conspicuous at all. Like she just is her, right? The rest of us maybe, but Petra is recognizable the second someone puts eyes on her. So we have to figure out a way to figure this out and fix it. So when Hemlock says that, um, I start to feel a bit embarrassed. That's when the guilt is finally kind of setting in. You know, I'm a little less angry. I'm a little more guilty. But, like, all the pieces in the room start to just settle back to where they were. So I at least have control over that. Yeah, you're still you're still hella angry, though. But that, I'm, that oh, yeah, I'm simmering. Somebody or break something important. Can, um, I, can I suggest an idea? Yeah, yeah of course. What? So, okay, you guys are going to hate it. You're not going <laughs> to like it. I don't like it. But it's the most logical thing for us to do. I think we need to go to Scion. I think, listen, why would listen, we need no, to go to I mean, Scion? Listen, listen, listen. He's probably for this thing. He's probably uh, for us he all. Has, he, has, he has, he's the only person that ever painted us in a positive light. Everybody listens to him, right? I think, I think I can get through to him. And if we just remind everybody of the good that, remember, we helped him with last time when he saved everybody from the T-Rex cannon dinosaur, he might be able to fix this. He might be able to help show but people that we're not as bad. Too. He's, they, want he to, want they want to. Put yeah, but at least he's the most liked one. What are we going to do, volunteer I mean, at like a homeless shelter for three months until they figure out we're good people? Like we have to do something that's a big grand thing to show people that we're helpful. And he's the best one. What are we going to do, volunteer at a homeless shelter like normal people? <laughs> no. We're better than that. That's not going to put us in the news. Anything is the thing. Like why do we need to prove anything? We didn't do anything wrong. Because we're, we're not, not going to be able to go – you're not going to be able to do anything. You think that it's going to be I bad if you were anything anyway. All I do is hang out at home and then go fight stuff. That's all we do. We're not going to be That's able to I fight do. stuff anymore. So you know, I am um... no fighting. What am I supposed <laughs> to do? <laughs> what do I even do with my life? Like so while you're while you're having this while you're having this argument. Um, you know, I think we, it's one of those things where there's, you know, we get the individual uh, close up shots of each person speaking. Uh, occasionally we cut over to, uh, to Lex, you know, like half paying attention, half shit posting. Well, um, <laughs> and then um, Lex, I think we see on your, uh, on your screen, on your, your laptop, you've got a, you've got a camera like outside the building. Like you can see, we can see Clyde, you know, standing by the door and you can see, see the street. Um, there's a, uh, uh, um, like an armored car uh, pulled up on the, the side of the road. Um, and uh, you see a, um, a police car pull up behind it. And then in the next shot of everybody arguing, it's kind of just like this beach bubbles all kind of overlapping each other while you're talking. And the light, the window uh, lights up like blue and red, like the, the sirens kind of go off. Um, and you can hear, everybody can hear in the room, you can hear the, the like sirens outside uh, as this police car like screeches to a, to a halt behind the armored car. Okay, you guys, we gotta stop arguing about Hemlock's boyfriend uh, and get out of here. <laughs> like now. You know what it is? Do you... I mean, anybody can look out the window, right? Like you're. I think Petra, you're standing by the, the the window. You can see the street underneath. Can I try and like get into their comms? Uh, yeah, yeah. Like just pull up like the police radio. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. That's no problem. Um, Would I want to roll for that? Um, no, I don't, I don't think so. I think that's just something that you're like fictionally positioned to be able to do. Okay. Um, 
So you, you bring up, uh, and I guess this is while you're doing this while somebody else is looking out the window. So we get the cuts back and forth, the, the sort of split shots. So outside, uh, two, two cops um, have gotten out of the, the cop car um, and they're just like generic cop looking extra, like a man and a woman. Um, and the woman has a, a sh- the shotgun out, which is like serious business for cops. And the, the, the man has his, has his pistol out and we see it's the same guy from the cover. Um, and uh, they're, they're approaching the armored car and the guys that are driving the armored car, like the, the driver and the, uh, and the passenger, um, they're, they're both like getting out and one of them is like putting their hands up and uh, yeah, the cops seem to be arresting these like armored car uh, drivers, but you can tell Petra, even from here that like something funny is going on. Um, okay, that's so not as bad. Can I try I to my telepathy? Uh, I'm really rusty on it, but like, I'm really concerned by this. Now I'm like freaking out that like maybe my, my assumption is what if they're like superheroes and these cops are just arresting them? Like, yeah, like what's, what's going on? Superheroes. This is not okay. I'm, I'm like really agitated and I need to try to tap into whatever they're thinking. Okay. Um, so you are, you're using your powers as the, as the impetus for it, but you're assessing, assessing the situation. So yes. roll, yeah. uh, roll plus superior. What if they're just bad guys? What's with my rules today? Can I? Yeah, can, I was gonna say, can I roll my supernatural senses too? Um, yeah, I mean, you don't. You, I don't think you have to roll for that. I can. I can tell you if there's anything that you want to. Like, you can hear. Uh, you can hear ta- like talking from in the room. Um, but Petra, mark, mark a, mark a, a, a potential because you failed a roll. Um, so here's what happens. Um, there's a uh, uh, there's a gunshot that goes off. A pistol goes off. And um, Petra, you see the, the cop with the pistol just shoot the, one of the guards. He's like an, an older guy. Um, and he, he like grabs his chest and like blood is starting to spread. And we can see he's like startled. And he, he slumps back against the armored car. And then people around start uh, like panicking, right? Um, and the, uh, the, the scene suddenly like ramps up. Uh, and you can, see, uh, you can see them approaching. And I think that both like... Uh, simultaneously both Lex you get over your your like audio feed right we see your laptop speakers crackle on and, and you can hear this uh, and and also you can you can hear them talking um uh, hemlock uh we don't know like you hear them speaking this like strange the strange language and both of the the cops are like muttering it together uh because we can see them moving forward in the panel and their speech bubble is just one bubble and it has all these little like lines and dots that like make up like a weird a weird language and that's the same thing that's coming out of your speaker like the police band radio is emitting this like weird uh this weird like speaking um and all all of this like weird stuff is happening uh, all of a sudden and then yeah there's this gunshot and one of the the armored car like guards like oh, slumps against the door are the armored car guys wearing like uniforms of any kind or yeah they've got like generic like you know armored car driver like you know like a vest or whatever um mm. And, uh, yeah, and so the guy, like, slumps back against the thing. So he's probably not, like, shot all the way through. But, uh, yeah, cops don't usually just shoot unarmed, like, armored car drivers. I'm just, like, so, so tempted for one of us to jump off the balcony in superhero landing, like, on I mean, the Riley, thinking about it. Riley. Riley, you have the opportunity here. You could jump out the window. This uh, is the opportunity to show that we can do good things. But we don't, yeah. we don't know if they're good guys. Off. Great idea. This is obviously a trap. My God, Wait, what are we supposed to do? Can I see the license plate from here? I probably have a feed somewhere that saw it coming up, right? Uh, the license plate on the cop car? The armored car. Oh, yeah, sure. Okay, can I like reverse Google Im- image search it? Yeah, you want to back hack it? Yeah, I want to back hack right, it. You're going to unleash, unleash your powers to overcome an obstacle. Okay, what do I want to do for that? Uh, you're going to roll, roll plus freak, so you can roll your, your freak. Right. There's a macro on your, on your sheet. Give us I, have, I have so much stuff open, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> it's too much stuff open. All right, so you got an 11, um, which means uh, that... Uh, I can do whatever I want. On a hit, you, 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 back, you back hack it. So yeah, this, um, what do you, I, mean, I guess, what do you want to know about the, the I, armored car? Well, I want to know who it belongs to. I want to know if there's actually like superheroes inside of here. Or I mean, maybe this is like the world's biggest villain and we're about to help them escape the cops, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> That would look really bad. <laughs> that would look really bad. <laughs> um, so this, uh, yeah, this belongs, This it's part of a fleet of, of armored cars that belong to a company called um, Ben-Hur Security. It's got this kind of like uh, Roman or like Greek looking like graphic of a guy riding a chariot on the side. Um, 
And it's, uh, yeah, it's like just one of their registered vehicles. Um, this one does um, like bank pickups. So it's probably full of money. Okay. Money. Okay. Yeah. I like money. Are the cops, like, do they, <laughs> they obviously look like they're, they're under something, right? Yeah, I mean, you're under some kind of like influence or they've been like brainwashed or like something about them is clearly off, right? Yeah, they're moving weird and they're like whispering. You can hear it, but the other the other uh, heroes here, like you can't. But they're just they're whispering this like chant together uh, as they as they like move up. And it, it looks like the chanting um, is never a good sign. No, especially if you're a cop. You're not, it's we, dis, it, you're not supposed to walk around chanting in unison if you're a cop. If, yeah. if we don't, we don't want to hurt them, but can we? Like, I think Incapacity. we should try to detain, yeah, like detain punch them. a little or like handcuff them and put them in their own cop car or something. Like, yeah. we don't have to hurt them. You're not going to be, you're not going to be able to do shit from up here. I know uh, we have to R go down. Riley? You're, you're the, you're the one like we... with the most immediate chance for action. Do you want to just like okay. jump down there? Uh, so I'm assuming that we've all kind of been like discussing what is going on right now and like kind of making a plan of action, but I just kind of like look at Petra to like, as kind of like a, do I, do I go or like, what do I do? No lethal force. Let's stop them. Got it. I'm gonna jump <laughs> off. Of All right. So my question, my question for you, Riley, is do you open the window first or do you just like right They already it? broke Hemlock's mug. So she I'm carefully. Very, I'm like, <laughs> I'm careful now. Yeah. Right, so the, the first, the first <laughs> panel is maybe, the first panel is maybe you like just about to jump. And the second panel, you're like looking at Hemlock and you're like opening the latch. Like, <laughs> <laughs> she shuts it and slam the door she just shuts it very yeah and then after she gets on the other side she like takes out a microfiber cloth and like sprays it down <laughs> fingerprints like a little sleeve like sorry yeah. sorry yeah. sorry yeah. <laughs> oh god Maybe all right so sorry, sorry. so from here you're how how high up is your your apartment um hemlock it's like eight, 10 stories. Nice. What? It's a decent, it's a decent, oh awesome. it's a penthouse. You have to be able to yeah. see the city. It's so going to be up yeah. so You step out and we get this. I follow right behind uh, Riley. Cause obviously we would be a crater. So I follow right behind Riley and I immediately like float off of the Yeah, she's going to just delicately. Like, her pow my power to like, yeah. Control her fucking. Oh, cannonball. sweet. Yeah. Okay. So, here's, so here's without thing, a thought. Like, what? Yeah, I was gonna say by default, by just being the bull, you are superhumanly tough, incredibly strong, and uniquely skilled at fighting. So jumping off a ten-story balcony, it's not gonna hurt you. You'll, okay. you'll be. You're like the tick. Um, You're but really if you want to be super impressive, yeah, like Petra could, I guess, float you down there. But I, I don't know. What do you do, Riley? Is this gonna be? I just, I mean, I, I move kind of fast, so I just kind of jump out the window. She's gonna delicately float down behind me because she's regal and shit. But I'm just gonna like. Jump <laughs> You yeah. know how, like, when you hold dogs above water, they instinctively start swimming? I feel like if Patra were to try and, like, slowly <laughs> lower Riley, she'd just be, like, punching her. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, my God, that would be amazing. <laughs> All right. So, uh, you, yeah, you, you cannonball off of the, um, uh, off of the balcony. Mm -hmm. um, let's have you roll to directly engage a threat. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, uh, oh, dear, Riley. Riley, why? Starting good. Oh no. oh no. Oh boy. Okay. So mark your mark Maybe your advance uh, on that. Um, There's like no way we can interfere and help. Kiss. Yeah. So here's what happens. You 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 get up on the balcony and tell me what tell me what how you envision this going in your mind. If you had done this properly, what would it look like? Uh, I would have jumped off the balcony, not landed on anything. You're going to make me land on something. Uh, I would have not landed on anything and then uh, disarmed them because Petra said no lethal force. So um, disarm them and then uh, like knock them out or, you know, put them in the car or something like that. Use yeah, yeah, you would have jumped in and, and go yeah. into the car. Okay, so that's, that's the plan that goes through your head in the like couple of seconds between your feet leaving the balcony <laughs> and the ground. Um, and the le you, you stick the landing, no problem, right? You get your you get both feet under you, you drop to one knee, you like, mm -hmm. you know, punch the ground because you're a cool superhero. Um, but yeah, you miscalculated a little bit and you landed on the hood of the cop car. So you Great. you hit the hood of the car and you hit it much harder. Like you have a lot more force going in than you maybe you think. Um, you hit it, the car flips up into the air, right? You land on the front, you flip it up in the air and you go like, I don't know, two or three feet into the ground underneath it and create like a, a, a crater. <laughs> and immediately after that, we have this moment of you landing. There's that, that silence as the car like throws up in the air and then the shockwave just boom, like flies out 
all the windows on the block just like shatter instantly. Uh, oh, people God. get knocked over, uh, a lamppost tips over. Um, everybody gets thrown to the ground. Um, and then we, and then we like cut to you as the cop car lands behind you, like just. They like did a cartwheel. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, at least they can't get away now. And then like <laughs> landed, and it's all bent up on the front. I tried um, so hard not to. But the cops the weren't in the now. car. Though. No, they weren't in the car. No. They're yeah. they're like flying stunned on the ground, along it's with everyone in a block. Force. It's not but they're all force. stunned. At least. And, we, and I like we, get up and I like brush myself off and I'm like. Yeah. Kind of worked. <laughs> yeah, and then, then Petra floats down behind you. And we can see behind you in the in the shot because you've got the, the lobby of the building with the like broken glass doors now. A uh, big pane of glass falls and behind it we just see Clyde like holding his hat to his chest like, oh my. No, 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 I have to save him. I'm going to save him with, I don't know what I can do. Can I save him? He's, fine. He's, fine. He's not in any danger yet. He's okay. Just, <laughs> He's just kind of like holding his hat like, oh my so i thought you were like i wasn't pi- i was picturing it like he was nervous and he's like looking up and the glass is like falling oh no no it, it, it was obscuring <gasps> him we couldn't see him and then it's just a dumb sight gag the the glass okay. falls and he's standing there like <laughs> so uh petra you are you're the you're the next one on the scene and despite uh despite riley's uh hard landing um you know you have an opportunity to to make a move to do something as you as you float down uh what do you want to do um Okay, well, now that she's done that, I guess what I need to do is... Can you moat them? What? Can you moat them? I like mean, I... Them? Well, what I want to know is, are the cops still standing there? Are they still armed? And are the two... Or, well, the you said they're on the ground. Left over yeah, everybody got knocked down by the shockwave, but they look like they're, they're still ready to like, get up and... Uh, Perfect. Okay, and so I need to uh, unleash my powers um, because I will need to, like, put up basically a wall around the weird possessed dudes you want to try to use your power to like block them in yeah for their own safety so you gotta you gotta burn first petra Mm, yeah Uh, so is this is this happening as you're floating down are you like charging up or do you land and then flare up oh no i charge as i'm floating down because i I took my time yeah you got 10 stories to to float down Uh, why don't you roll uh, roll your roll your burn move uh, to see how uh, how that goes? Uh, the only thing is, I can't find burn on here. Where the heck is it? It's on the right, under um, underneath hopeless. Uh, there's a little section that only you have called burn, and then it's got a little d20 next to hold. Just click that, and it'll uh, set you aflame. Uh, no, I don't see that, mate. Wait. Uh, right hand oh, side. Oh, I see it. Sheet. We're good. Yeah, I'm yeah, sorry. I'm it. an idiot. We're fine. We're it's fine. Okay. Big All right. Finally. So when you charge up your powers uh, on a seven to nine, mark a condition um, and uh, you gain, um, you gain, uh, you gain some burn uh, to spend on flares. Um, So you get, you get three. So set your burn to three. And what condition do you take? Um, You're already Um, angry. Oh, right. I have to take another condition. Oh boy. This is not going to go well. Um, I think this is where we're going to go with the guilt because right. that was the next feeling we were having. Actually, no, 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 no. In this moment, she's going to feel insecure. She's going to be a little bit worried that like, this isn't going to go Jesus. the way, you know. Plus like I'm in the line of fire. Yeah. And you so, just it's so, of, like, so dangerous, the right? Like the, already? the person so, with like insane, insane energy manipulation, telekinesis powers is now angry and insecure. Yeah. Riley, so how I, I, have I asked you before, Riley, if you can like punch bullets, is that a thing you can do? Someone like shoots a bullet at you. Yeah, like, well, what happens if I get <sighs> shot? I don't, I don't know if I. I would save you. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think it. I think it depends. I think you, if you get shot, uh, probably like regular pistol fire, like one at a time, probably not a big deal. I think a shotgun might like knock right. you on your butt, but wouldn't like be a real threat. Okay. Um, a rocket launcher would. Uh, any pretty much anybody's superpowers can would be considered like a real threat. But like, yeah, somebody shooting at you with a Glock isn't gonna. It's just gonna like. Be annoying. Can, can a hemlock divert a uh, like a really heavy hemlock? Hemlock could get hit by a train and absorb the energy, right? Oh, okay. Hemlock, <laughs> hemlock's, hemlock's whole Good job, thing, hemlock. Hemlock's whole superpower thing is to be able to absorb. Like, you could throw hemlock into the sun, and it's she only going to do good get out okay. Yeah, but yeah. It's, I mean, because that's it's a metaphor, right, for like taking emotional abuse. Um, and and she has that power to just like take everything anybody dishes out. Um, so if you want to clear your, uh, insecure, this scene, uh, you have to take a foolhardy action without talking to your team. Um, so Petra, you, you land in, in burn mode, feeling angry and insecure. 
Um, what do you what do you do? Okay, well, uh, I think that, I mean, should I do the logical thing or should I be doing something more emotionally based? Um, or the I, flashy I think, thing. <laughs> I think what Petra would do here is just create a moat. Like she would just block them in. Um, but I'm going to be a bit reckless with how I do it. So if you remember in the first, episode she did create a moat to protect hemlock and all she did was break apart the cement on, of the um, street underneath and then it just erected as as walls around mm -hmm. this time is going to be a little bit more oh i don't know what i'm doing i'm kind of losing control so now we're going to be seeing literally walls ripped off of the surrounding buildings in the area so like on the ground level there's like shops and other apartment buildings and big brick walls are literally just being ripped off and being erected around the uh, <laughs> right so like the, a like there's a there's like a starbucks or something but it would be yeah. like off right it'd be like storebucks it's gonna look like <laughs> can, like um, can i like be hacking into all of the surveillance footage like any surveillance footage that i can find in this area like as she's doing this i'm just deleting it removing it going over it with like yeah. s2 footage totally yeah <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna miss a robot that shit. Okay, so we'll do that as soon as as soon as Petra uh, is done. I guess you just spend a burn. You don't have to roll for it. And yeah, you just peel the front off of like two other buildings and like create this wall. And do you want to make a wall around um uh, around the the two cops like the that, or do you want to like just separate the cops from the armored car? I wanna I wanna just like block them all in, but like sort of separate so like i want to block in the the armored car guy who's still alive but also i want to block in the cops but i don't want to be them to be blocked in together so it's kind of like a yeah so it just crosses crosses yeah. the street okay. yep All right yeah like and it'll hold the back the, 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 them or something which side which side of the wall is riley on uh, your side your side or the other side okay she's, she's on the outside side. she'll have okay. to like do some crazy stuff to get back in Okay, cool. Uh, Lex, uh, from from your your viewpoint up in uh, Hemlock Manor, uh, why don't you uh, why don't you roll to unleash your powers on the internet? Oh <laughs> right! <laughs> oh god! Fingers fingers flying over your custom your things. custom Linux UI. Uh, go ahead and uh, go ahead and roll your uh, roll your your move there. Yes. All right. Okay. So. Uh, you, uh, you get, what does it work on a seven to nine? It's a, um, mark a condition or the GM will tell you how the effect is unstable or temporary. Uh, which would you prefer? Do you want to mark a condition or do you want me to only have, uh, this work partially? Someone will get like bits and pieces of what happened. When I need mark a condition, what will that do instead? Um, you get a minus two to a particular set of moves until you uh, enact whatever gets rid of the condition. So you're either going to be afraid, angry, guilty, insecure, or hopeless as a result of like how you're currently feeling trying to use your powers to protect your friends. Um, and then you'll get rid of those depending on which one you take. But like, um, think, like afraid would be appropriate here. Um, like it's it's kind of showing us what your uh, what your action, what its emotional effect it has on you. But will I succeed at what I'm attempting if I yes. take this yeah. penalty? Okay, yeah, yeah. Either, either one. Uh, either one will give you what you want. But if you don't take the condition, it means that the effect is unstable or temporary. Okay, yeah. yeah. I'll take, um, I'll actually take hopeless because yeah. I always feel like I'm really trying hard to fight away that hopeless feeling. And so when something, like when the cracks start coming, like I just get this huge wash of hopelessness all over me. So mm -hmm. that's what I go for. And also, uh, my custom Linux UI, I actually make it look like, I don't know, give me, like, give me a large cat name that's not Snow Leopard. A lion. <laughs> lion. <laughs> I actually try and mimic the lion operating system. So I think it's really funny when people are like, oh, like, that's a Mac that you're using. And I'm like, no, it's Linux. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> it's Linux. Right. That's what it looks like. Elf tiger. Yeah. Cool. All right. So yeah, you're able to uh and, and you have to work quickly, right? Like you're you're basically like I mean you're a superhero hacker, so you're able to like counter hack twelve sysadmins at once. And so you have all these different networks you're in and, and you're like you know, keeping all of the different uh, security systems uh in the uh, in the area uh in the area down. And I think that um one thing that you're noticing while this is happening, and we're noticing it over your shoulder too, that um all of these systems seem to be uh, controlled by the same 
um, like a service provider. Like they're all, there's some like security corporation that's providing security for all of these different, um, uh, these different things. There's like, you know, like Securicore or whatever, which is probably the company. Have I heard of it before? Um, yeah, probably. Uh, they're like a government contractor that's been working with the city to like keep Halcyon Street safe and like put up security cameras everywhere. And now you're trying to like ah, shut them all down and they're like, they're pretty serious. Uh, all right. But I like, um, I get slightly paranoid and I like pick up one of the Pottery Barn pillows and I just look for like a hidden camera or like I look at all the polka dots. <laughs> right. Inspecting right. it. <laughs> yeah. Um, cool. So Hemlock, while all this chaos is erupting around you, um, what are you doing? I took the elevator downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we, so the next, the next page after we see Lex doing all this stuff, we, we, we get yeah. a panel, a panel of just you in the elevator. Cause like, I think, cause I can absorb the energy. So I could probably jump and be fine, but definitely. because I'm still new to this whole superhero thing, I'm not quite sure about what's going on. So I'm just going to like safe, safe it and like sneak out my front door. So my mom doesn't see me and like, take the elevator down and I'm like running out the door and I'm like checking to make sure that like Clyde's okay. And then just assessing like how I can help and what all this like stuff's going on. Like the time I get down there, Petra's already got him like walled in. Riley's on the other side. So like I'm going to run to her and then mm-hmm. just be there to help her with whatever she needs. Okay. Dude, we have had this like really annoying scene while you're going to the elevator where I'm like, I can make it go faster for you. And you're like, no. And I'm like, I'm in, I the can... elevator, I'm in the elevator just like smacking the button, like go, 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 go. Yeah, okay, there's a personality. There's a yeah, and you're standing you're standing in the elevator next to like a woman in, in yoga pants holding like a little dog, like looking oh at her God. phone. And she's like, <laughs> like, God, weird. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm like, hi, you may not want to go outside right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah. And she just kind of like looks back at her phone, like, "Why are you talking to me? Stop." Yeah, her name, <laughs> her name is oh, Mrs. Indeed. Jones. Her dog's <laughs> name is Fluffy. He barks all night. He's a dick. Yeah, Fluffy's <laughs> the worst. Pees on everything. Yeah, I'm so, like running out. He got killed in a superhero accident. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So you you run outside. Um. And and you you run past Clyde. Um. Now are you are you do you go in the elevator, uh, in your regular clothes and emerge in your superhero costume, or are you still uh? normal person when you come out because you can't just run no, I'm outside. still normal I'm still normal person oh, I'm okay. still normal because so I had gonna... to sneak out past my mom I had to sneak out past my mom so like I don't have I mean any... it's it's assumed it's assumed you always have your costume on like under yeah, your yeah, no no it's days. basically like a, like it's like kind of like like Lex's where like it's basically just like unzip a hoodie boom so that's I mean that's my question right are you yeah, yeah. are you entering the scene as uh Hemlock the superhero or what's what's Hemlock's real name do you even know do we do we come up with one for her uh, I think we did. And we I did, but I'm not sure if you ever should. I have my marked on my page is Karen, but I don't know if that's right. We're okay, gonna, well, are we'll you Karen? Are you, are you Karen so or are you amazing. Hemlock when you come outside? Uh, no, I'm still Karen. Okay, so as you run past uh, Clyde, he gives you kind of like the same look that you get when you're like about to walk outside and it's raining and you forgot your umbrella. Like he's yeah. like, shouldn't, like he, he points at you like, Hey, like, I know there's some super <laughs> stuff going on. Like, don't forget. Yeah. But he's just trying to help. He's like hiding by his desk. But yeah, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna ignore him. Okay. All right. So you you run outside. I have a plan here. I have a plan here. You run outside as Riley is is like getting up from uh, the rubble of you can you can see Riley like from the ribs down because she, she's like several <laughs> feet underground now. This is like a yeah. broken water main, like spraying water out into the road behind her. Yeah. Whoops. Yeah. So I'm gonna like run over her, run over her, and ask her what she's doing. <laughs> <laughs> Car on the ground. You're like, what are you doing? What are you, what's your hey, what's plan? up? <laughs> <laughs> I just like stand up and I'm like, kind of like, a, you know, like brushing. There's like crap everywhere because I just like landed in. I just created the, a. The cops the are the cops are in this brick wall, right? Like they're entombed right now, basically. Uh, no. So the barrier, the moat separates no. the uh, cops and the um uh, the armored car. So, so the there's cop- just like a red rover line, but so we still yes. need to apprehend the police. The, yeah, the cops are starting to stand up. Uh, yeah. Okay. And, like, All right. Shake the shake off the effects of the of the the landing. Okay. So I like get up and I'm like trying to like brush myself off and I'm like help me out of here and I like reach out for her to like help me out of this like hole I've created. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to help her out. And then we got to, I mean, Riley, we have to go get, 
we have to go do something about them. Like, I mean, with all this destruction, we haven't done shit and everything's broken. So like, hey, we still I have to- disabled their vehicle. Okay. Hey. That was part of the plan. But we still you, have to go. You say that, you say that in the background, the, the siren goes from being like, wee, wee, to being like, and, like <laughs> upside down, the wheels fucking spinning. So like, we have to run and I'm just going to start yeah. running towards them to try to either distract them so that she can like apprehend them or like, I'm just going to try to do it myself. Like I help her up and then I just like run towards the cops yeah. in this normal, I'm assuming people are looking on right at this point. Yeah. Yeah. There's people, yeah. uh, there's people around who have gone from like, Oh no, scary. Like vi- someone got shot. That's real scary violence to like, Ooh, superhero stuff. <laughs> like people are stupid about that, but they're, yeah, they're all like, there are people around the people that are like standing in the, in the store books with the wall ripped off are just like holding their venti lattes being like, where did yeah. the go? Okay. Um, yeah. I'm so, gonna, yeah. Well, I mean, they, they still have guns. Did they get, did they like drop their guns when they got knocked over? Um, they've picked them up and are, oh, okay. uh, I think, I yeah. think now since the wall is there, like they've turned and they, they see you and um, I'm going to run straight for them. I'm running okay. straight for them. To try right. to like either like intimidate them to back them up against the wall so that we can do something or to I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna run. This, this would doing. be this would be this would be the moment where if we had done if we'd gone with the alternate like troll cover, the mm-hmm. cover would be Riley uh holding Hemlock's body while Hemlock bleeds out from the gunshot mm-hmm. wound she's about to receive. But I can't because um, I can absorb them. Well, well, let's let's see. So you uh, you come oh, forward gosh. and like y- this is how I found out I had superheroes before. I know that I'm in, I know that gunshots are not a thing. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're coming. Am, you're coming forward to be like everybody. Like calm down. Like yeah, and yeah, then, yeah. I'm yeah. gonna try to like like try at least assess like what are they brainwashed? Are they machines? Like what? Yes. Are they? I'm like running towards you. them. They both yeah. shoot you. Hey, they, I'm shoot gonna, you with, they shoot you with their guns. I'm gonna introduce oh, for clarifying. Yeah, yeah, they shoot their guns at you. This is part um, of my plan because I'm still in my normal. So, so instead right? of instead of just dying, instead of just being dead from shots, uh, you can take a you can take a powerful blow. Um, is it one of my powers so though? Energy absorption. That's yeah. Your energy absorption is what what lets you take the blow instead of just being like, cool. They shoot you and you die. Okay. Um, so you're going to take a powerful blow. You don't have any conditions yet, right? No. Okay. Um, now this move, it's backwards for most of the moves in that you're going to roll it and you want to fail. You don't want to get a, a 10 so or better. So which move. one do I roll? Um, on your sheet, uh, you're going to roll where it says conditions. There's a little yeah. D20 next okay. to it. Just roll that one. Yep. Just roll that. Hey, Adam, even though I'm deleting footage, I'm still okay. backing up like some of it to my own server. Right. Well, we so, want to show that they shot me. Exactly. We want yeah. to yes. show that they shot yeah. me as like a teenage mm-hmm. girl. She's just totally. preventing it from being like live immediately so that we right. have control over it. Yeah, later you'll be able to leak that footage to be like, yeah. praise cops, shoot innocent girl in your <laughs> stand out. So here's the thing, you miss, which is perfect. That's what you want. You stand strong, mark potential. Uh, okay. And then tell me how you weather the blow. How is it that this this seemingly normal girl gets shot like point so, blank with a shotgun and doesn't go down. What happens? So I'm going to take the shot and then I'm just going to like take the hoodie off and like really calmly, like keep walking towards them. Cause I'm assuming at this point they're stunned at the fact that they shot me and nothing happened. Right. They're actually not. Um, so Shit. you, as you walk towards them, uh, yeah, there's like bang, bang. And like the gun goes off. And I think there's a moment where we get a reaction shot from the crowd of being like, Oh my God, they shot that girl. Um, and you're like, you know, your, your stomach, uh, your clothes are all like ripped. Like it's, it's very much a, a like loop cage moment where you just get shot. But do you, when you absorb things, like you absorb energy, is there like any obvious supernatural effect? Like, do you have like an energy shield that comes up? Do you like, like what does that look like? Yeah, it's, it's kind of like this blue, like not cloud. It's not foggy, but it's, it's like a, like a glass. You know what I mean? Right. Like yeah. It's okay. So, so it's obvious now that you're not just a, a regular. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So when it happens, like just much like if you were to like jump and like land on something, there would be like kind of like the aftershock. You see that, but it's kind of this like blue light where like it just for like an instant, it's like, boom. And nice. then it goes away. Okay. Yeah. And they don't, they don't react. Like they're still, we still get the speech, the shared speech bubble with the weird like uh, cuneiform on it. Yeah. And they're just, yeah. The, the woman with the shotgun just, and like it goes to take another shot at you as you walk towards them. Shit. 
Yeah. Well, um, Riley, gonna... Riley, do you want to do you want to do something? Um, because Hemlock just got a shot. Yeah. Um. Well, so when she helped me out of the hole, she kind of started running off before I was like fully out of it. So I was still like a little bit behind her. But I see mm-hmm. her like go running toward these cops. I know that they're gonna shoot her. So mm-hmm. um, I like have been running after her. So I get there just like a split second after she gets shot. Mm-hmm. Um. So I kind of like push past her, and I want to go like for them because I want to disarm them. Okay. If I knock them out. Like that's what's gonna happen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it seems like that's the case. They don't seem yeah. to be quite themselves. Yeah. So let's uh, let's have you directly engage a threat. I'm going to roll plus danger. This time it's going to be a hit. Yes. There you go. <laughs> All nice. right. The power of positive thinking. <laughs> so on a seven, on a seven to nine, uh, on a seven to nine, you. You, you get to pick one um, of the of the four options. I can't wait for Riley's self-help book. Okay, so uh, take something from them. Can yeah, take but, their guns? yeah. You can disarm them. You can capture them. Take their freedom from them. <laughs> their um, arms off. So I disarm them. Yeah, and so I think that's that's the that's the last panel of uh, of this this issue is like a moment later they're they're like handcuffed or whatever to each other sitting on the on the ground, and you know you're standing over them. Uh, the the team is sort of assembled down on the street, and they're they're like just looking up at the sky. And we still have the the speech bubble uh, with the weird the weird talking and their eyes like both of them their eyes are just like glowing with this like green uh, this green light, uh, and then we get the like to be continued, and mm-hmm. then there's some commercials for like Hostess fruit pies. Dun, dun, so dun. stick around. Uh, we're gonna take a break here, and we'll uh, we'll come back. We still got a, a couple more hours of uh, this action to uh, to go. We'll get to the bottom of this mysterious mystery. And find out how bad we screwed ourselves. Yeah, and we'll find out. We'll find out who is watching that that stuff while you're fighting oh, those cops. Uh, all right, cool. Stick around. More role play masks when we come back. <laughs> <laughs> 